Hi guys, welcome to my messy workspace. I have a couple things I want to share with you. Oh, let me put the ink pad away. It's open. Okay, so um, I wanted to share this. I saw um, Kirsten Warner uses this on her with her stamping lately, so I ordered it from Simon's Stamps, and it's it's all right. This is just uh, sponges. I thought it would be a little bit different, but seems to work really well and so if you guys want to give it a try go for it but um it's it's pretty good like it lets you put the stamp on the middle and then evenly press it down which I think really works but um I didn't get good quality when I try to do my grading farm stamps with it so I just do them use the grading farm stamps with the regular block but for your other stamps um like you can do a whole card if you want to do put a couple stamps on that works really well so anyways just want to share with that with you then I got paper tray ink I got the library card stamp and I got the half and half stamp set which is like um, this shape and this shape and this one and then I got the dies to go along with it and they have some really cute sayings there I really like the dies though they're, and the dies are they're pretty long, so I thought that was good to use. And then I got the holiday button bits. I mostly just got dies this time, but um, I already put them away, so I won't be able to share with them. So it has these, and then you put the big, you add the buttons in it to make it look really cute. So for your holly, you would use like red buttons if you're going for that theme, or pink if you're non traditional. <laughs> and this is like for a present, and then like Santa like they did it um they stamped it twice and then they put a button and then they layered the head on top that looked really cute and here and then for the ornaments so there's some super cute ones there I really like it I like the everyday button bits too um I got the half pint jar because I wanted to use it with um the handle for like hot chocolate and stuff the friendship fit um the winter friendship fillers and then I got this is the label that you can put on the front or for the side so that's really cute I just cut out one by hand and let me show you I use I did a cute one yeah I almost forgot to show you this is for a special friend and it looks like this and yes it's candy corn and this is because of you my world is brighter so that's the third one I did a third one um, wow. another one I did that was the first time I used my friendship and that um, winter fillers and that was so much fun to make I ordered from um, eBay got the Harry Potter set and the rub-ons with the chipboard stickers and the other stickers and it comes with eight pieces so that was really cool that'll make a project to do um, and she sent me that free piece of paper so, and she just she sent me um, a refund for um, the shipping because I had sh bought two things for her so that was really nice then I ordered from my favorite things mftstamps.com and I got the loopy die to make the loopy flowers so excited and oh my gosh who loves hot chocolate I got this and then um I was reading this to my mom the other day and it says sending cocoa cuddles and so I was like so all these years I've been sending you cocoa cuddles when I sent you hot chocolate <laughs> yeah that was really sweet so we like that and um because I got the VIP set that it comes with extra um holiday sayings as well so lucky me I'm excited I can't wait to use that with my new flower dye oh yeah so okay maybe I will give you a sneak peek so this is my new, these are the dies, the heart ones. Um, this is a frame one. And then I showed the pie one, right? This is going to be my new paper tray ink die one. So I got these. You can layer them, limitless la layers. And I think that's one and three quarter inch. And I got these mats because they match my um, wood um, background, my wood mat stamps that I got. It's the perfect size, but um, I wanted to draw another one, but it wasn't in anymore. I guess it was out of stock, so I have to wait and get it next time. There's my acorns and leaves, which I totally love. My snowflakes and my holly. So some old ones, of course. Um, I've made a few orders now from them. So this is the light. Um, 
the lunchbox note you can get and it scores it and it cuts that so you can fold it you know how I've seen that a lot of projects so that's the library pocket die the really cute dress form this is a tag with a thing up here these are the half and half dies they're called see they're pretty long so you can put them over the card and this is for the button bits that's the um, library card but it doesn't go with the library pocket die this is the library card yeah and then this is the seed packet die which I saw a super cute thing for that so I wanted to try it out and I'm so excited that I got this one I can make my own I think Missy might have it because she did um, a green envelope and I don't know if it, it looks handmade maybe so maybe she used this diameter but I really love that okay and I have time so I'm gonna share with you my mommy's package she sent me I have to decorate the front of that still of my new binder thing so um okay I hope my lighting's okay okay she sent me um for Hideki Canada moose socks she's excited and then for me I got um a Canada coin purse it looks like little baby socks so she said she got that at West when they were up there before she also sent me vitamins and a toner but I don't think you want to see that she had an extra set of beads, so she sent me... Aren't they gorgeous, the turquoise? Ooh, I love those. And then um, she sent me this goodie bag, and oh my gosh, there's all these flowers and this trim, which I super love. I am such... I'm becoming a hoarder, guys. I do create, but I like to keep all the pretty stuff that I'm using it. And like this trim, I don't have any of that. And then this is some leftover stuff. She sent me this last time, but then I, now I'm gonna cut it out and use individual on cards, so. And she's got, oh, these ones are really pretty. And there's like crystals on. And um, she sent me this time the watercolor set because um, she had had, I swear, she had had like every single embellishment um, that went along with the kit and the, and the library. Um, at the library and the um, you know the matte paper pad but um, she didn't have any of the paper so I ordered it for her and sent it to her house as a present just for nothing and um, so I, I got the specialty and the designer pad and so she was so happy so she shared half that with me look at this bag it's just full of goodies isn't that cool and bling and then, yeah, she said, I love this. And the key. I think those are the Tim Holtz ones. And there's another thingy in there. And then look at the locket. I don't know where she got this locket from. So that's really cute. I don't know if I can open it. Oh, I can. Aw, vintage. That's another key there. Cool, so lots of goodies. I was so excited. I'm going to get in that later. And I love gingerbread, so my mommy sent me some. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay. Oh, here it is. Okay, she sent me the gingerbread, which I totally love. And then some Christmas trim. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited. I love them. And she did me a die cut because my mom, she went all crazy when she started scrapbooking. <laughs> no, she's super addicted like me. And she has the Vagabond, and she cut me a whole bunch of frames, and I don't have this die, like, people had sent me chipboard pieces that I was using, that I've been using in the past, but I'm all out of those. And then, ooh, she's got the clock one, too. I think she did one of the chipboard and one of, like, craft paper. That isn't that awesome? Gosh, I love that. Nice, um, in a guy's album or something. Okay, and then she did a whole bunch of die cut in the paper collection. And then she has these um, pieces that she got from another die cut thing. She's got all of these border strips. She put in a, an, a pack of die cut thing for me. And then she's got all the mat. I guess they came like that. So, thank you so much, Mama. I love you.
Of course. When she has, yeah, she's got the three, she shares some of her 3D things in the back there, like the butterflies and everything. I'm not going to take it all out because I think you guys have seen it, so. And it just takes so much time to, you know, for you to go through, so I won't bore you. And she found these baby step, um, or these first baby steps. And then she thought I could use it because I do a lot of baby albums. You know, not because I particularly like them, but I do. But I just have been making a lot lately. <laughs> so she thought maybe I could have some. And then look at how much paper she sent me. She, I think she sent me one of everything. And then she put. She also put in what she had die cut from. So that's awesome. This paper is gorgeous. Cool. So a lot. That's a ton of paper. And she has the these letters that the Tim Coffee letters. She said she um she had an extra pack. And because I said I liked them before, and I think they go really well with the paper. And then she had an extra, or maybe she had um just a lot a border strips she was saying. So she sent me some of her recollections. So there's some blue, and then the flowers. And that is my awesome, awesome package that um, I got from mom. And just by the, just another story by the way, my mom paid for um, international package airmail. And then what they did, I don't know why. Um, they put when I saw the box, because it, it had taken four weeks or something, and by the time I'd figured they must have shipped it by surface instead or something, because it would, it would have been here even if it went through cu customs. So they had a sticker that said International Surface Package, and then it said like $21 or something, and then it had like another $30 or something in stamps stuck on it, for some odd reason, so they, so my mom had paid for the air because she paid like fifty, about fifty or forty six dollars, and they sent it um, the surface because the lady messed up, and I showed my mom the box, and I said make sure you check that they put um, air next time and not the surface, and there was a number three, so just beware that some people are really unprofessional and have no clue, so. Yeah, I was pretty shocked about that, but <laughs> what can you do? Anyways, we'll have better luck next time. That'll probably be the last package because next time I'm going home to Canada. And we're going to have a lot of fun just doing family stuff and hanging out. And yay, I'm excited. So, and oh, one other thing. I was using my friendship die too, I told you. And then I did this and it's this winter wishes. And then I did it like red. And green and this is the Berlin's poppy red ink and I really like that it turned out super awesome and then this was just um, this was the pigment ink by Martha Stewart that Ali sent me and he used my Copics for the lid okay that's it guys take care bye